Gran Turismo just released their trailer for the upcoming update, and here it is. So a very small update from Gran Turismo compared to the one we had before Christmas where we had loads of cars and a track and whole host of other features. We've got two VGT cars, the Bulgari, which is uh, a watch make if you're unfamiliar, inspired by the 60s and 70s apparently, uh, and there's a watch out that you can get, um, it's a bit disappointing really. Uh, the next one is the Genesis X VGT. Now this one's a bit more interesting because this has got uh, over a thousand horsepower. It's a hybrid engine, but uh, the V6 uh, comes in at 870 horsepower at 10,000 RPM, so it's going to absolutely scream. And it also has a 200 horsepower hybrid system, uh, the, the electric motor. So this thing's going to absolutely shift. There's no mention of how heavy it is, but hopefully it's not too heavy. Um, and then next up we've got the Suzuki Jimny XC. Small car. It's, it's, it's a nice car, don't get me wrong. It's just like a little cute car, to be honest. Um, but I would like to see an engine swap. Maybe not the Escudo, because... It'll just shred the uh, tyres straight away. Um, you won't be able to get your grip down, but maybe like the Suzuki Group 3 VGT car engine that we've seen in en previous engine swaps. Or maybe even uh, a Lancer Evo engine. I don't know. Something like that anyway. We've also got coming up two extra menus. So these are the ones where you collect cars. The first one is the Nissan Motorsports extra menu uh, and you'll have to collect the classic Nissan GTR 500 oh it's a GT 500 isn't it the Pennzoil Nismo basically the Nissan Skyline uh, from the early 90s I believe it was or late 80s uh, and also the R92 CP uh, all three of these from the legendary store, so this will be quite a hard one to fill out if you've not already bought these cars. The other extra menu is the Dodge menu, and that's for the Viper, the Challenger, and the Classic Charger. There's also going to be two new events. Uh, one is the Jimny Cup, and it looks like it'll be all dirt races, so it's on the windmills track. Willow Springs and Lake Louise which is the snow track that came before Christmas and then there's also the VGT trophy which is going to have two races, one's going to be on Tokyo Expressway it doesn't say which layout but it'd be interesting if it's just the ring one as opposed to the east layout which is the one with the big long straight and the other track that's on the VGT trophy is Monza so some pretty fast tracks there to be honest there's also some scape stuff uh, a service area and turn the camera vertically have been added to feature scapes however um, pretty small disappointing update but you know it's straight after Christmas they give us a big update before Christmas I just hope that what we get going forward is better I have seen stuff on Twitter, there's a guy called Primadino on Twitter, E or X as it's now known as, he said that he had some insight into how Polyphony Digital works and it was not too, not much in the way of benefit to fans, so you have two competing streams of ideas, you have what Polyphony Digital wants to do, and then you have the one of those might be following what the fans want, but you don't know. Um, the board will include like cars and leadership and all that, but yeah, we'll just have to wait and see. Going from what we've got so far, it's not going to be adding more 
money grind tracks, endurance races, stuff like that. It's just going to be VGTs, road cars, that sort of thing. And we, while we've not got a healthy amount of cars, like only like 400 or so, um, I do feel like we could do more Group 3 cars and less of the road cars. Um, and more of the classic Gran Turismo cars like the Listers, the GT1s from Toyota, that sort of car. You know, something that just appeals to the fans um, and what, why we all started playing this game and the memories that we've got from it. So yeah, that's the update. It'll be coming Thursday and yeah, we'll just have to wait and see to what we get in February. Until the next time, adios.